Speaking to the youth at Rondo, Ekanjo said their input into the strategies will be paramount to ensuring their successful implementation. Currently, the National Youth Service Civil Training recruits six youth from each constituency in the country, while some are trained at its training centers countrywide. But Ekanjo believes this is not enough, thus a need to create development shelters in each constituency to accommodate more youth. Why not 50 boys, 50 girls per constituency? Why three? Now, the idea we are having and changing the whole system. What we are planning, that's why I'm consulting you, the youth. We want in each constituency, we must build a skills, youth skills training center. No, no, no. Wait until it materializes. He noted that after receiving training, the youth will be equipped with start-up capital and equipment for them to create jobs for themselves and develop their communities. The minister is on a countrywide tour to hear the challenges faced in terms of social economic development. He was, however, not happy that each region had only one youth officer, noting that each constituency needed at least two youth officers. The youth cited lack of funding and business development skills, shortage of land in local authorities, as well as a lack of mentorship. The monitoring of funded projects were some of the challenges the youth identified as hindering their development.